All right, let's talk some more about that G minor tuning. Um, it's really easy to get to. You start with that open G tuning that you're probably familiar with, and you take that second string and you tune it down to an A sharp. And get an electric tuner. It's a lot easier. Um, it's just uh, when you're done playing it, it's like you're playing a G minor chord. Now that's the equivalent. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tune it back up to the B where it came from. If you were tuned in a uh, G major, right, and you played the A minor shape, you'll notice that uh, your one pointer finger is, instead of doing a bar chord at the A, you're taking your finger da back uh, one half step, and that's an A minor chord. Well, it makes sense that if you slide that whole chord back a whole step, and you were, if you were able to take this second string and, and put it back a half step, you'd have a G minor chord, and that's exactly what tuning the tuning is doing. So you take that B note and down to an A minor. And while you're at it, double check that uh, that alternate tuning didn't put all your other strings out of whack. And it's nice because uh, now you've got this minor chord, and you can keep your hands free and just kind of noodle. Of course, you can also download um, this Google, uh, you know, common chords for G minor tuning, and you'll see you get one of these sheets. It's like a PDF. You can print it out. And um, uh, the confusing thing about these is uh, you're going to get a whole bunch of chords that, that just kind of work, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's in your G minor key. So that's what I'm looking for right away: is um, what what keys go well in G minor. Well, if you think of like. Uh, if you're normally playing in, in A minor, um, that's kind of like the, what is it, the minor sixth of the relative minor of the C major chord. Well, it's the same thing applies. The, um, the major uh, would be, I believe, B flat. That, so if I was playing a major song, right, and then I go to that relative minor. So your music theory still applies. Um, so the chords you're probably going to use the most is still that one four five, right? And, and in this case, it's just G, which is your first one. A B C would be your fourth, and D. So in this case, D C is your C minor, and D is your D minor. So really soulful song is going to be your G minor, your C minor, D minor. Now, if you've been practicing your open G tuning, you know that your 1-4-5 is just that accessible. You play open for the G, you put a bar chord on the 5th for the C, put the bar chord on the 7th for the D, and then back open for the G. Now, of course, instead of being major chords, they're all minor because you're doing a bar chord, so... Now, um, there's other places you can do that C minor. Um, the, uh, I, I do recommend downloading the chord chart. I won't go through them all here, but um, for example, the C minor chord will be like my middle fingers on the uh, first, str first string, first fret, and then the ring fingers on the second string, second fret, pointer fingers on the fourth string, first fret. So. And it really doesn't hurt to, to learn those chord shapes in a couple different places. So that's your C minor. And if you're lazy like me, you can do a partial chord. So instead of strumming that fourth string, you just strum the bottom three strings. Right? So, <clears throat> what's really helpful about learning a few of the chords is, um, well, not only does it make it easier to, to play along with the music, but also you look at the chord shapes uh, within that key, and pretty much everywhere that your fingers are being pressed down, well, that's uh, fair game for uh, finger tapping, or 
neck, you know, tapping on up the neck. Right, so I was just tapping on the, the chord shape for the, the C minor. It's another chord that's further up the neck because I want to have more spots. Well, that's that's where that uh, B flat comes in handy. Um, so if you're doing a full B flat chord, it's going to be you're just barring at the third fret and then putting your uh, another finger on the sec the the second string and just up one from the bar a half step. And that makes sense because if you're playing that open G right and you tune that string back, well, it's the equivalent of having your finger down. That's, that's a G major because on the second string, I'm just going up a half step, right? So if I'm playing the B shape right here, B flat, that is, that's how you would do. This would be a, a B, C, right? So if this is your C minor, you take your finger on the second string and go up half step, right? Now, of course, all those majors don't make sense in the key of G minor, so the, the majors that make sense here are going to be your uh, B flat. Or, yeah. So, once again, that's B flat, E flat, G minor. Now, you don't have, again, you don't have to memorize the chords. What, what I'm doing here is I'm looking for where are my fingers being pressed down on the neck. Well, cool, that's fair game for. I pretty much have a whole scale right there just from those three chords. the C minor is on the fifth fret, I can hit any of these. Do that again. So fifth fret, third fret, first fret, open. Now I can do some fancy uh, drop thumb and apply a little pattern to it. talked about that strategy before in other other songs usually in the G major scale but um, that technique applies really in any tuning and any key it's really a matter of find some chords that fit the key that you're playing and then just you can play all your melody off of those uh, spots on the neck so If you've seen any of my videos where I talk about the blues, this starts to sound really familiar, so. And that's because a lot of the notes that are shared in the blues scale are also shared in the G minor scale. Except I think uh, the G minor scale is going to have a few extra notes. The, I believe they call it a pentatonic scale. Somebody can correct me in the comments, but uh, you're really just playing um, maybe five of the notes. Um, you can probably Google that. So that might be the blue scale, but on the G minor scale, it's just. can I talk about this um, it's a lot of fun um, so again get that chord chart and practice your chords I, I'm gonna confess I don't know 
all the chord shapes, but I'm, I'm working on it. Like there's D minor. And that's the same as your D minor up here. And again, your, your C minor's up here. And then the, uh, I like this F. That, that, I, I do that by barring on the second fret and then I just kind of take my ring finger on the first string half step up and my middle finger on the fourth string uh, another half step up from that bar. Right. And that song I played in the last video, How to Write Mile uh, by 16 Horsepower, uh, it's pretty much using the G minor, C minor, and an F and that's kind of it. figure out more I'll share it uh, kind of learning along with you guys so let me know if uh, you have any thoughts <laughs>